Hey guys, this is Tarun here. Today I'll be touching about three topics. The Salvage Convention, LOF and Scopic. So I'll try to interview all these three topics and uh, try to answer questions from an oral's point of view. Anyhow, moving ahead, I would like to reiterate that you might have to go through the actual convention, the actual Scopic clauses and the actual LOF forms, the updated ones. You can just simply download them and later verify whatever we have just discussed. So prior to the salvage convention of 89, we had the law of salvage 1910, also known as the Brussels convention. The two important aspects of this, first, it had incorporated the no cure, no pay, which is also known as the main agreement. And secondly, it did not take any kind of pollution into account. So what does it mean? No cure, no pay directly implies that if you have not cured a solution or if you not found a solution for a problem, you don't get rewarded. And secondly, if there is no threat to the environment, it's a strict no-no. So because of the disadvantages of the law of salvages, that is a salver tried to avoid a high risk property which could cause pollution because there was nothing in it for him. So that's how the salvage convention of 1989 came into existence. Also it added a new article, article 14 which is the special compensation. Before we move any further I would like to just pinpoint some aspects of the salvage convention. Firstly you should know what is a salvage, what is a salvage operation and what are the conditions after which an operation might be called as salvage. Salvage means an act undertaken to assist a vessel or any other property in danger in navigable waters. Also, four conditions have to be met. Salvage must be voluntary. The object of salvage must be recognized. The subject of salvage must be in real danger. And finally, the salvage operation must be successful. Personally, I feel the entire salvage con convention can be brought down to just two articles. Article 13, which talks about the criteria for fixing the reward and Article 14, the special compensation. Some points in Article 13 talks about what is the sal value of the ship, sal value of the cargo, what is the danger involved, what are the resources. So all these points are taken into deciding the reward. And Article 14, as I spoke earlier, is a special compensation. But Article 14 only comes into play when there is a danger to the environment, which could be proven. And also, he is not able to earn the reward in the normal Article 13 way or the main agreement way. In such cases, he would at least be compensated for whatever amount he spent in the salvage operation. But in case if he is able to minimize or prevent any damage to the environment, his compensation is raised up to 30 to 100 percent of whatever he spent on the operation. So agreed, we have understood how the compensation is decided, what is the special compensation, but how does a salver get into a contract of saving a ship? This is where the contract of salvage comes into play. Universally, the LOF, Lloyd's Open Form, is the most famous contract. Similarly, there are other nations like the Scandinavian contract, Japanese have their own contract. This is one particular contract which is developed by Lloyds of London and is recognized all over the world. Regarding more details of what is the contract, what is the contents of the contract and what is Scopic, I'll talk in the next video.